All right, I thought I would uh, do one of my uh, favorite still water patterns uh, for up here in the Rocky Mountains. Uh, this thing has been a stable in my still water box for a long time. This pattern's been around for a while. It's the Timber Line Emerger. Um, and let's give it, why don't you give it a try on your next trip to the still water and you should be pleasantly surprised. The hook I'm using is a TMC 3761. So I'm going to go ahead and get my thread started and lay down a base of thread. Cut the tag end. I'm going to run this back to the bend of the hook, the point opposite the barb. Uh, the tail on this, what we use, what we use typically is a uh, any pheasant body feather, the gray fluffy fibers at the the bottom. Uh, lately, I found a I had a chickaboo cape a chickaboo cape from uh, Whiting Farms, and I've been using using this for the tail on this. It's got a real webby, real fluffy feather. They move. They really undulate in the water. So that's what I've been using. I'm going to take a clump off. I'm going to see, there we go, we've got a clump of it. And we're going to tie this in. Uh, about a shank length long. If it's a little long, a little bit longer is fine. Throw a loose wrap. We'll get that tied in right on the top of the hook. And once this stuff gets wet, it gets real slender. It really undulates in the water. And this under an indicator, I'm going to come in and clean the tag end, clean the extra off. And then I'm going to just bind everything down. Now the rib on this fly is a extra small copper wire. So I'm going to go ahead and tie it in underneath and bring it to so it'll sit right on the side of the hook. Pull this down so I don't have to trim it. We're going to lay that down. All right. The the abdomen on this fly is tied with something I don't know if too many people even use much anymore. Just plain old muskrat belly and I on this prefer to use the natural. Uh, also, I think a lot of people have a tendency to overdress this body. You want to make it a slender, just a slender tapered body on this fly. Don't overdub it. should do it. Then just do a slightly tapered abdomen. And like I said, keep this slender, don't overbuild it. But I think they in most of our lakes what this fly is being mistaken for is one of the calabatus nymphs. And if you look at them they're just a very slender Okay, I'm running it up to about two eye lengths back from the eye. And we're going to take our copper wire and we'll rib it. And this is the extra small. Okay, go ahead and tie that off. Clip it. Now we put on a, uh, a soft tackle on this and I'm using a it's a Metz uh, hen hackle. It's a ginger brown. And I, you want to get one that reaches maybe back about half. About half the body length. Go ahead and strip the fibers off the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and tie this in what we call shiny side up. Get it bound down. Lay down. Uh, and all I'm going to do is take two wraps. I'm going to pull it down. I'm just going to 
pull it down under and then I'm going to hook my hackle pliers and just take a minute and stroke some fibers back alright I'm just going to take two wraps one oops came undone one two come in and tie it off flip off your excess then I'm going to wet my fingers and pull these fibers to the back and then I'm going to kind of wrap back over them with the thread and that's going to sweep everything towards the back now the last item on here is to put our little wings in it and all I'm going to use is a hen hackle uh, just like what we use on Adam's wings just get a couple not you want to get some slender ones one two so I'm going to take two of these hen hackle tips and I'm going to tie them in X let me show you here. So I'm going to take them and kind of split them like that with a little X. And then I'm going to tie them going about, about halfway back. So I'm going to come in here, kind of use the hackle to help me split them. Come in and pinch them. Come in, take a couple nice wraps. So I've got them split. I'm going to do a couple more wraps and then before I cut them or anything I'm going to take a couple wraps, pull the butt ends up and take a couple wraps and lift it. And what that will do is help you uh, when you come in here and clip this all off. You'll notice my eye is nice and you can see it but I don't get those butt ends lean, covering my eye up. So now I'm just going to go ahead come in here and finish the head a quick whip finish give it a wiggle and then do a little final adjustment on the wing and there we have the timber line a merger. Give this a try at your local Stillwater and you will be oh surprised. Thank you.